On today's video, we're putting in our vinyl plank wood flooring. <laughs> We were going between the trail oak and the fresh oak, which planks we wanted to do. The trail oak from Home Depot was a little bit, uh, a little bit more red in color, and so we actually decided to go with the fresh oak, which we can see here. It's gonna look great with all of our new white painted walls. And so one of the big things to think about when living in a small space, tiny living, we want light colors. And so that's why we chose to paint everything white. And that's why we chose a little bit lighter vinyl plank floor. I have never done any flooring. Uh, my dad's gonna come help out. He's never done any flooring. And despite what you may think, I have never done any flooring. And Megan's not an expert in flooring, um, so we're ready to tackle this. Why we chose vinyl plank flooring is because it's waterproof, it's scratch resistant, um, it's even a little bit more flexible, um, which are great things for RVs. And they're super heavy. One little box is like eight planks or 20 square foot, um, and it weighs a lot actually. So what I also got from Home Depot is the um, is a floor installation kit, uh, which is needed. So when you're installing the floor, you need spacers for the edge, which you'll see in our video. You need um, a little tapping block to actually uh, click the vinyl flooring together. Um, and then there's a little tool in there to help on the edges to uh, be able to click the floors together when you're right up against an edge and you can't swing a hammer. And then this kit actually comes with a, a rubber mallet or a plastic mallet, um, which is needed to just kind of um, click the floor together, um, especially on its long ends. So putting in vinyl flooring in an RV is very hard. There's a lot of numbers and um, a lot of just, okay, let's see if this works. Um, so over here, I've cut a slimmer piece of our plank, so not the normal width, to put up against the wall. So when we get to the other side of the room, we won't have just like a two inch strip. And so that's some of the math you're going to have to be doing. And then you have to do that on the length then too, so you don't have just a small um, length of the vinyl plank. Um, then you also need to be able to stagger it, so you don't want all your seams together. You want like either a brick pattern, or for us, we want kind of random. Um, and so you want those seams to be set apart um, so that floor will kind of connect and be a lot stronger. And so another tricky part back here in the bedroom is the bed box um, because there's some flooring that goes back under the bed box here and by our nightstand. Um, so we got to make kind of an inconvenient cut there. Um, so it's a lot of measuring, a lot of thinking, a lot of marking stuff, and then sending a plank out with my dad for him to cut. Um, but we're getting there. Hopefully we'll get on a roll here soon. To. I'm putting up cabinet doors. Okay. It's really hard. Yeah. But it's good. There's two over there.
heck out of the block. <laughs> Not tapping block. Putting in the floor has been a long process. Um, lots of little cuts, um, lots of places where bolts um, like attached down our couch, um, where we had to drill holes in the planks, all kinds of corners. We ended up using five boxes of vinyl planks and I still need about two more boxes. And so uh, we've used all those up. It's pretty late at night already. It's already eight o'clock, um, getting dark in here. I am hooked up to the house. That's why we got some light. I will see you guys when it's light out and I have more vinyl planks. So I have most of the flooring done. I just have a little bit left in the living room and then up by our driver's seat and our passenger seat. Um, a little bit uh, right here, I'm actually sitting on the dinette. We don't have cushions yet. Uh, those are getting reupholstered by my grandma. Thanks, grandma. Uh, but I have um, a little bit to do in between the dinette, a little bit to do in our bathroom, literally like a one foot by one foot. I went and picked up two more boxes. Actually, I called the Home Depot to see if they had um, the style that we wanted in the fresh oak. They said, yeah, we have plenty of boxes. Um, they said, we got about 15 boxes, come pick it up. It was one near my uh, clinical site. And so as I went over there to Home Depot, I walked down the aisle and there's no boxes left. And so I talked to the floor guy who I literally just talked to like an hour ago. He said, dude, I'm so sorry, but someone came in and bought all 15 boxes, and so they must have been doing a big room. Luckily, the next door Home Depot, um, not really next door, it was like seven miles away, but uh, they had some, and so I picked up two more boxes. Um, it is now the next weekend, and that is what I'm doing today. I'm going to finish the flooring, and hopefully um, put in, we're going to put in quarter round, um, kind of for our baseboards, uh, to cover the gap that you have to put in. I gotta get all this junk out first before I can start to flooring. So I just spent like an hour and a half ripping out staples from our stairs, our entrance stairs. I mean, I probably ripped out like a thousand staples. So come on guys at Fleetwood, like calm down a bit. Jeez. Okay guys, I am done with the flooring and now it's the finishing touches. So we're using some white quarter round, going around all the edges. And then a fun little thing for our stairs, I am using this white board and It'll look really good because we're going to put it on our stairs like this. So pretty cool. 